Hi, this is Nikki and I'm here to share the messages that I get from all of our higher selves that are coming to me for healing and um, also joining in on the crystal grid that I do which I have been guided to set up for me and my twin to help us come into our union and then I was guided to put it out for everyone else. And so it's all about grounding the energies of unconditional love onto the planet and you receive pieces of rose quartz and when you meditate with that it basically brings the energies of unconditional love down the rose quartz is incredibly soothing and then you become part of a soul group that are all helping each other onto into our union so basically into living more and more from the heart and so what i wanted to share was it's the full moon i'm going to put a link to the leo king who does astrology he was just, a, he did a, basically a chat about the Capricorn full moon. And in it, he references loads of things that have come up for us in messages about Top Gun, about fighting the fear and doing it anyway. Um, and he also talks about this moon being the YOLO full moon. Now, I mentioned the other day that my WhatsApp status, status is YOLO. And so I really noticed that because YOLO is you only live once. So basically it's all about, um, you know, fighting the fear and doing it anyway. And just, you know, it's more about embracing the fear and just going ahead. So <clears throat> what I saw, and this, I'm just going to go through a healing and what happened yesterday. Because again, this is perfect to let everyone know how powerful this energy is. Because... In the healing, first of all, I see her and her twin and they're dancing and they're, sp they're basically dancing. And because they're dancing, they're dancing um, and they're doing a spinning round in a circle. So they're spiraling down and they're spiraling down, down and down into the center of the universe. And so they create a big black hole as they go down. As they go down, the song by Kylie Minogue, um, spinning around, I hear... And um, as they go down, I just see them go down and down and down into the deep, dark hole. But then what happens is, is that they then suddenly there's this huge, huge burst of um, golden light. And I hear supernova. And so they sort of like just burst into this huge explosion of light and gold stardust. And um, so then I'm guided to go and search for supernova. Now, because I didn't really know what a supernova was. So, when I go to the supernova, we've had a lot recently about what the, um, uh, what, um, the 20, number 27 has been coming up a lot because 27 is the, on, in the energy oracle tech that I use, 27 is the number of walking away from all energies that aren't supporting you. So again, perfect for this full moon because you're actually shedding a, shedding a skin as well of all those fears, anxieties, worries. If you embrace it and you just let go. Now, yesterday as well, the same day that I was doing this healing for this person, especially because it was the full moon, there was a little boy walking along the street and he had a snake in his hand. Now, it was so lifelike, this snake, that it actually freaked me out because I was like what he's holding this little boy is holding a snake and then I realized it was just a play snake but it looks so real and so the fact that, that we've had all the messages about shedding your skin and all of this is again confirmation that you know all of these energies that you need to let go of it's all about living you know it's all about that fear can stop you from doing so many things right and it's about leaving the fear behind and just taking the steps you know even if it's baby steps towards the life that you leave that you want to leave because when I came to look for I sent the healing to the lady and I said it was such a powerful healing to see that energy and that explosion in the supernova and she came back with and she said <laughs> that her te telepathically her twin had sent her a song and in the song the lyric is you're my supernova girl you make me smile so or something like that but it basically mentioned supernova in it so she was like wow now when i came to research about supernova somebody else met, has just come to me for healing and they said that they've recently seen their twin flame on a picture in social media and they have a cigar in their mouth 
and she was saying that's upsetting because she didn't like she just she doesn't want him to smoke well check this out so first of all what's a supernova and it's in galaxy m82 a star is exploding it talks about this but then when I'm scrolling down, um, it says the bright new supernova blows up in nearby M82, which is the cigar galaxy. So that's the second thing. I scroll down and it goes further because it says, look at this, the nearest supernova in 27 years explodes in the M82 galaxy. So again... This is again confirmation. Firstly, from this is from three different people's twins. So the cigar, so her twin has been the last picture he's put of him with the cigar. The next one was that she, the the healing was with the um, sent her the lyric about the um, supernova, right? So this is how powerful your energies are together right to create a supernova basically which is why it is so amazing and it which is why it also shows you that there is so many um so much energies around to support this coming together right and which is why we've also had those messages around the, the sort of the eye of the storm and you have to be in the center of the storm like the eye of the tiger now when I go to search for supernova, this is again, now this is a link back to my twin because the supernova song that came up was this supernova and Kanye West. Now, Kanye West is the guy, he was um, do, playing at Glastonbury the year that I went to Glastonbury and my twin was with me. And he went off to see um, Kanye West. I didn't go, but he went to see Kanye West. So also when I saw um, this, uh, I also knew straight away. Now when I scroll down here, there are again loads and loads and loads of messages all, all the way through this as well. But the big thing about this song is if you look at the lyrics, I'm going to put everything into the, um, oh this is it here. But if you look at this, it's about faith right faith and it's got the 11 by it because it's all about um believing right believing in what you can't see and believing that this is the, basically yeah this one i mean this is all if you look at the lyrics to this song as well it's all about leaving karmic stuff behind and just going for it <clears throat> and following your heart so that is the message because again it was really powerful healing Right? To be able to see them spiralling down and then coming up and I heard the word supernova for her twin to then have sent her a song with those words in it. It was quite amazing. So this is the final thing. These are the numbers on it. So for all of this, this is nine completion. This is for grounding these energies down. This is change. This is being supported by the angels, right? So we have nine for five for change, 11 for the angels, but also for the union. So trust, trust, trust. I mean, amazing, amazing, amazingly powerful, right? Because it is all about knowing that the power of love is the strongest energy of all. Um, also, just, a, you know, another thing, crazy, well, just amazing things that happen, right? Because... A friend of mine um, was sat on the on a plane and he was sat next to a guy called Frankie Goes to Hollywood. His name is Holly Johnson and he sings The Power of Love. And um, I spoke to my friend the other day and he said that he was actually sat on a plane with him and the plane was diverted because of a, a droid. So we had the messages around the plane yesterday. I think it was yesterday or the day before. And that sense of having to be calm when all chaos is all around you. And then literally, I think it was the day after, this friend said that he was on a plane and the plane had to be diverted. And he was sat next to Holly Johnson, who literally sings the power of love. So, you just can't make these things up. I mean, the universe really is bang on it to make sure that you stay in that love vibration. So, just know this. Love is the greatest power of all, and what your job is, is to spread that love everywhere you go. 
All right, well, if you want to have healing from me or if you want to join the Crystal Grid, please do because they are amazing. Yesterday was kind of like super powerful seeing these amazing things happen. That wasn't just the other thing. There was like um, uh, one lady was painted all over in golden paint. They, but at the end, I saw them all over with golden paint. And then somebody else sent me a song and in it, in the video, they were actually painting each other as well. Um, all of these songs are in the description box, but that's what I mean. The, the, the net of all of us working together is getting super intense and super tight because I see it with all of the things that you send me. One person will send me something from one part of the, the, you know, the world that links to a healing that I've just done for somebody else in a different part of the world. And, you know, it's all of our higher selves working super hard to make this happen. I mean, I can, you know, because I see every single email that comes through and I look at everything you send me. I doesn't, you know, if I don't use it, that it's just because it's whatever comes through at that time for me to use. But I can see some things that I send. I might not do a video about it, but it goes to the person whose healing it was related to. Because all of you, it's all of your higher selves working together. I mean, it really is a beautiful thing to, to witness. It's kind of like, wow. So just trust, 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 trust. And today is all about clearing all of the fears and just going for it, going for the life of your dreams, not taking any, um, yeah, just, uh, just not living in fear, just living in love. All right, I hope that helps. Take care, bye.